Okay, I'm on page 45, uh, lesson 2.8. Last night should have done number two, which we did together, and number four, which I did not do with you. I'm gonna go ahead and do it now so that you can check your work. Um, and I would like you to also right now record the letter P. That will be used towards a word. You'll collect your letters throughout the video and then submit it with your name on it tomorrow to be entered in a drawing for a prize. So when I'm doing this, I wanna figure out about how many times can 38 go into seven? Well, in fact, I know that I cannot do that, so I'm going to go over to my hundreds place, 70. About how many times can 38 go into 70? Well, since I don't know my multiples of 38, I can use like um, a nice round compatible number to help me estimate, uh, which is 40. 38 is kind of close to 40, so about how many times can 40 go into 70? Um, let's see. I know it can go in at least once. Um, if I do it twice, 40 and 40 would be 80, and that's too high because I only have 70. So I'm going to adjust this. They had, they tried, it didn't work, so we are adjusting our quotient. Um, and so when I give each of my 38 friends one cookie each, 1 times 38 means I'm getting rid of 38 cookies, one for each of my 38 groups. 1 times 38 is what I'm subtracting. When I subtract that through, 0 minus 8, I can't do so that six that seven is gonna become a six and I'm gonna regroup now I have ten minus eight is two and then looking over here I had seven but now I have six so six minus three is three and I check my remainder against my divisor since 32 is less than 38 I know it worked I cannot share 32 cookies with 38 friends that would not be fair so now I'm moving on to my tens place. I'm going to drop down that three. Now I have 323, and I want to figure out about how many times can 38 go into it. Again, I don't know my 38s, but I do know my 40s to help me estimate. So about how many times can about 40 go into about 320? So if I know my multiples for four, then I know 40. So let's see, four, eight, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32, 36. So if I have 323 right now as my dividend, and I want to figure out about 40, can I go in at least one time? Can I go in at least two times? Can I go in at least three times? Can it go in at least four times, five times, six times, seven times, eight times, nine times? Oh, no, not nine times because nine is too high. Nine would be 360, and I only have 323. So since nine is too high, I'm going to try eight and see if it works. Again, since I used estimation, I don't know if it's going to be exact, but I try it and see. So if I'm giving eight cookies to each of my 38 friends, three, or sorry, eight times eight is 64, so drop my four, regroup my six, eight times three is 24, 24 plus six more is 30. So I'm gonna subtract, again, this is showing that I've done eight more to each of my 38 groups. When I subtract, I need this um, this remainder, which would then be our dividend, but this remainder to be less than 38. If it's more than 38, that means that this eight was not high enough. I need to go up to the next number. Let's see, three minus four. Oh, that's right, I can't do it. So I'm gonna borrow from my two, and my two is gonna become a one. My three will then become 13. So 13 minus 4 is 9, and 1 minus 0 is 1. Again, check my remainder against my divisor. Is 19 less than 38? Yes, so since my remainder is less than 38, I know that the 8 worked. It's perfect. And now I'm going to move on to my 1's place and drop down my 5. So again, 195 which is close to kind of 200. About how many times can about 40 go into about 200? Can I go in at least one time? Can I go in at least two times? 
Can I go in at least three times? Four times? Five times. Um, and there's no right or wrong. It, we are thinking four or five. There is right or wrong, but in your estimation, there's not. It can go in four or five times. I know that 195 is less than 200, but here I rounded the 30 up, up to 40, so there's a little wiggle room. I'm going to try the four and see if it works, and if it doesn't, I'll adjust it. So four times eight is 32. Drop my two and regroup my three. Four times three is... 12 plus 3 more is 15. So when I subtract, 5 minus 2 is 3, 9 minus 5 is 4. So I have a remainder of 43. Again, check my remainder against my divisor. Is my remainder less than 38? Oh no, it's actually more, which means that it could go in one more time. The 4 wasn't high enough. I, instead of giving my friends 4 cookies each, I could give them five cookies each. So now I'm going to try the five. I got to erase all this because that didn't work. Oh no. Oh, all right, let's try again. So now I'm going to try the five and see does the five work. Five times eight is 40. Drop your zero and we're going to your four. Five times three is 15 plus four more is 19. And when I subtract that, take a moment, subtract that. What is your remainder? Very good, I have five left. Now I know that in, in fourth grade we liked to do this, R5, but in fifth grade we express our remainder as a fraction. So you put your remainder over your divisor because this is saying I have five left and I wanna take that five and I wanna divide it by 38. 5 divided by 38 is actually the same thing as saying 5 over 38. So I want you to think of that fraction bar almost as a division symbol. 5 divided by 38, 5 divided by 38. So 5 over 38. So you'll notice that my answer is 185 and 5 thirty-eighths. So let's go down and see if we can do number 6. Again, when I want to write this inside of the number house, which one of those two numbers is going to go inside of my number house? Very good. The very first one, we said talk about it like it's a race. They're running for shelter. They have to get away from that hurricane. The person who's in first place is going to be the person who goes inside of the number house. And then the other one is going to go on the outside of the number house. I'm going to stop this video and, and uh, post another video in a moment.